Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to be covering the Ionic 3.20 release. This release contains numerous bug fixes, features and performance improvements and we're going to take a look at taking our current project and upgrading that to 3.20. It should also be stated that you will have to add the Ionic CLI plugin for Ionic Angular and the CLI plugin for Cordova if you've yet to do that now that you've upgraded to the Ionic CLI version 3. I have a project here that currently contains Ionic 3.11 and we're going to look at changing this to instead be Ionic 3.2.0. I'm upgrading to the following dependencies, ignore the Angular Fire and Firebase dependencies. I will add this list to the description. And of course, if we ensure that we remove our node modules, we should then be able to say npm install from within our project directory. If we've done everything correctly, our modules should be installed and you may find that you get a couple of warnings here and there. Providing that they're not errors, you should be okay to continue with the installation. Now, if you've also upgraded to the Ionic 3 CLI, you may also have to include the CLI plugins for Ionic Angular and Cordova. Let's ensure we've done that by running the following command. I'll add this to the description. This will add the plugin for Ionic Angular. And once we've done that, we'll need to install the plugin for Cordova. So let's do that by installing the Ionic CLI plugin Cordova. And our project should now be up and running with Ionic 3.2.0 and the Ionic 3 CLI. Let's run Ionic Serve. And we find our application is now up and running without any issues. We can also type Ionic Info to check the current version of Ionic. And this is confirmed by saying the app script is 1.3.7, the CLI plugins are 1.0.0, and our Ionic Angular version is 3.2.0. So hopefully this video allows you to get started with the Ionic 3.2.0 upgrade and help you install those CLI plugins if you're having some trouble upgrading to the CLI version 3. If you've yet to upgrade to Ionic CLI version 3, don't forget to check out that video over on the channel. And finally, if you want a course that takes you through learning Ionic 3 from scratch, don't forget to check out the Learn Ionic 3 from Scratch course. I've got a discount code for that in the description. And until next time, I'll see you very soon in the next video.